Hey, what's up guys? This is Enrique and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. In this video, I will show you the steps on how to do this Benty case face morph transition effect which he did in his Bali travel video. If you are new here, please consider subscribing para manotify ka every time na meron akong bagong video. So, let us go now to the tutorial. So, I have here my first clip and second clip. What I will do is I will place the second clip below the first clip and I will reduce the opacity to 50% of the first clip so that I can see the second clip. So the objective here is to match the shape of the second clip and the first clip. What I will do next is I will allot 12 to 13 frames on the first portion of the second clip uh, for the transition time. Next, go to the first frame of the second clip and make a keyframe at the position, scale and rotation and match the shape of the face of the second clip to the shape of the face of the first clip. We can do that by adjusting the value of the position, scale and rotation. Next, go to the 6th frame of the 2nd clip and match the shape of the 2nd clip to the 1st clip by adjusting the position, scale, and rotation. And then, go to the 12th frame in the 2nd clip and then once again, match the shape of both clips by adjusting the position, scale, and rotation. Okay, after that, uh, go to the effects and presets panel and type uh, liquify and apply liquify to our first clip. As you can see here, I already applied the uh, warp stabilizer in our first clip. And this is to stabilize further our first clip. But if your clip is already stabilized, you can just uh, apply liquify instead. Next go to the 12th frame of our second clip and select our first clip then go to liquify effect and adjust the value of our warp tool uh, 120 in its brush size and brush pressure into 70 next we can now once again match the shape of the face of our first clip into the shape of the face of the second clip by pushing and pulling the pixels of our first clip actually you cannot be 100% with this but uh, the closer the better Then you can also from time to time adjust the opacity of the first clip to help you match the shape of the first clip to the second clip. Then you can now preview the morph effect by adjusting the value of the distortion percentage next go to the 12th frame of the second clip select the first clip and make a keyframe of the distortion percentage change the value to 100 then Go to the first keyframe of the second clip, then make another keyframe of the distortion percentage into the first clip and change the value to zero. Next, go to the first frame of the second clip, then select the first clip and make a keyframe of the opacity, then change the value to 100 
then go to the last frame of the first clip then make another keyframe of the opacity and change the value to 0 as you can see there is already the morph transition effect but we can still refine that later on next go to the effects and presets panel then apply liquify into our second clip then go to the liquify effect then select warp tool then adjust the value of the brush size and brush pressure next go to the first frame of our second clip then select our first clip then change the value of our opacity into 50% temporarily so that we can see our second clip below we can also further adjust the opacity of the first clip so that we can clearly see the second clip below next we can now match the shape of our second clip into the shape of the first clip by pushing and pulling the pixels of the second clip like we did a while ago into the first clip As I have said, we can never be 100% with this, but the closer the better. Next, go to the first frame of our second clip, then make a keyframe of the distortion percentage, then go to the 12th frame of the second clip, then make a keyframe of the distortion percentage, then change the value to 0. Next, go to our first clip, then change the value of our opacity from 41% to 100%. Then finally, Fine-tune the effect by adjusting the position of the opacity of the first clip. Highlight all the keyframes. Right-click, then keyframe assistant, then click easy ease. Then boom! We now have our morph effect transition.